Hey y'all, welcome back to Glitter Baddies Boutique. I'm Vienna and I have a new tutorial for you guys today. I will be showing you guys some new products along the way, so let's get into it. You're gonna need a double wall tumbler. This one I have from Ava Jaden's Blinks. I will link them below along with all the other products and any discount codes for you guys down in the description. And I'm gonna start by drilling a 5 16th hole on the side there. I am just cleaning off the little excess pieces that kind of flew around while I was drilling that but overall a pretty clean cut if I do say so myself. And once I have that cut and nice and clean, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning off my surface. I have this mini vacuum that I got from Amazon. Again, I can link it for you guys below, but that is not sponsored. I just really like this little vacuum. So anyways, once I have cleaned my surface, I'm going to tape off my tumbler. I couldn't find my painter's tape when I was filming this, so I used packaging tape. Yeah, I don't recommend using packaging tape, use painter's tape. And for this solution, I'm gonna be using something different. If you follow me on TikTok, you've probably seen me use it before, but I'm gonna be using Magic Liquid. It is a slime activator. This is the Elmer's brand, but I have heard really good things about the Amazon brand, so I will definitely try that next. But I'm going to pour it into a sauce bottle that's gonna help me get it into the tumbler there. And I'm gonna fill up about one third to halfway full of that, just the slime by itself. I'm not gonna do anything to it. And for this one, you're only gonna use slime activator. You don't need to use water or anything like that. And I'm not sure if this is very visible on camera, but it is very thick. It is super thick. It's really hard to get in. So I kind of just tap the sides of the tumbler to get that in. And once I get that one third to half way full of just the slime by itself, I am going to add my glitter. I'm using It's Pretty Personals glitter. You can use code baddies10 with them to save. And most of the time in a lot of my videos, I have suggested to not use thin cut glitter, but for this one, it's okay. I'm not mixing it with glue. I'm not mixing it with water. It's gonna be a little bit harder to mix up, but trust me, you can use a fine cut glitter with this and it's not gonna affect the process, but you can also use chunky glitter. Just use whatever glitter you want. Anyways, so, I am going to be tapping that glitter in, tapping the solution down. Again, this is a very long process. I think total time to make this was about 30 minutes, but on the bright side, there is no degassing required for this one. So there's that, which is nice. So anyways, at this point I have it somewhat full, but not completely full. I'm having a hard time getting that solution down. So what I'm going to do is temporarily plug the hole with just some painter's tape and a piece of paper towel and shake it up really well. Again, tap down, start filling. This is gonna be a very repetitive process, at least from my experience. If y'all have done this, please let me know what y'all do. It is a very thick consistency, but for those people who like the no flow look, but don't wanna use the polycrylic method that I have done on my channel before, this is another great solution to get that effect of no flow in your in your glitter. It does take a long time to settle. Um, from my experience, it takes a, a few days before that glitter finally starts to settle down. So if that's the solution that you're looking for, highly recommend this, but it is messy. It is a long process to get all that solution and glitter in to the tumbler. So just keep that in mind. And I try not to waste this slime activator. It is not cheap. But since it is the only thing I'm using in this process, I try to save as much as I can. So I'm tapping down, but I'm also like grabbing my solution bottle, squeezing it to get some air out and then sucking up the solution as much as possible throughout the process so I can just stick it right back into the tumbler. Just something I do. You probably don't have to do that, but it's just something I do. Um, but you can see it's getting pretty messy here. Also, I wanted to show this portion here because this is another method that I have done in my TikTok videos. I pour the glitter into the bottle with the solution and pour it into the tumbler. That is another way you can do this. However, if you're using a chunky glitter, it is not the easiest thing to do. It does take a bit of time to get that glitter through the little nozzle on the sauce bottle there. So I wanted to show you both variations of how to use this Elmer's Magic Liquid. You can Start with your solution, add your glitter, add more solution, or you can mix your glitter and your solution and pour it all together. But you're not gonna get that full glitter effect like you normally would with a snow globe tumbler. 
So I actually preferred doing the solution separate from the glitter. That's just my take on it, but it really just depends on the look that you're going for. So anyways, here I am still tapping it down and trying to get that glitter and solution in mixed up together. And I'm gonna go ahead and do another temporary seal on this to really get that glitter and solution shaken up. And I can tell you it is not easy. I, I think I mentioned that in the beginning. This solution is so thick. Like I'm shaking and shaking and at first you don't really see anything moving and it's, it's a trust the process kind of tumbler. So I am going to use my back massager and just with all my force try to shake this tumbler up. And as I'm working it, you can see that glitter starting to mix up with the solution. I'm getting that nice glitter full effect that I want. So I'm just gonna keep shaking, keep tapping and during this portion of the video i am starting to get more air kind of unlocked out of that solution which is nice because i want to make sure that this tumbler is as full as possible so in like a lot of my other videos i'm going to hold my tumbler at an angle but this time i'm going to be tapping the tumbler on the table just gently trying to work that air bubble out if you look right there by my index finger on my right hand there's some little air pockets moving their way up and I'm holding this tumbler again at an angle kind of on its side to kind of get all that air out towards the hole that I drilled. That way I can continue filling up my tumbler and making sure it is as full as possible. A lot of people try to get these 100% perfect, no air in them. I can tell you from experience, that's not always gonna happen and that's okay. Anyways, continuing on, here is another new product for you guys for this video. I'm going to be using this soft resin uv resin from resinrockers.com along with their plug mold they came out with this mold to create your own plugs for your snow globe tumblers it has the 5 16th hole size as well as the one quarter inch hole size there i believe that what that's what it was anyways so i'm going to pour the uv resin this again this is a soft coat here are the instructions for it i'm going to pour a little bit into one of the plug sections there i'm going to cure that for 60 seconds on one side and these are uv safe so i'm going to flip it over cure it again for another 60 seconds and then once that's fully cured i'm going to let that kind of sit off to the side for a second while i get my tumbler cleaned and ready to go and then i'm going to demold the plug there and honestly this was perfect. I have a lot of people ask me about what I use to plug my tumblers with. I usually use mini glue sticks, but I will not be using mini glue sticks anymore. This is going to be my go-to. It fit perfectly in the hole that I drilled. But again, this is a soft UV resin. So when it came out of the mold, it's going to feel kind of soft. That's normal because now we're gonna go in with the hard type UV resin to finish off the sealing process. So I went ahead, plugged that hole with the plug that we created with that soft coat UV resin. And normally I use the UV resin, the classic UV resin to right over the plug. But for this tumbler, I'm going to just coat the entire bottom with the hard type UV resin and my glitter, mix that up. And did I just, sprinkle glitter everywhere yes I did because I do that all the time I don't know what it is like I'm just impatient I guess I don't let the UV resin come out of the bottle at its own pace I don't know anyways so um I went ahead and cleaned up my area mixed up that glitter and that UV resin and then I cured that under my lamp for 120 seconds also in case y'all haven't noticed I have been keeping all of my mistakes in my videos all of the process in these videos because I want you guys to see the entire process from start to finish. So after curing that for 120 seconds, I went ahead and leak tested it for about 10 to 20 minutes. I didn't see any leaks. It was good to go. And then I'm going to add my little care instruction sticker. I had these custom made at It's Pretty Personal. You can use my code baddies10 as well to save with them. And put that right on the bottom, gonna coat that with the hard type UV resin. And while I was filming this, I could not find my lighter, so I just used my torch to apply some heat to the resin. I've had people ask me, oh, does the lighter cure the UV resin? No, it does not cure the resin, but it does help pop those air bubbles in the resin so I can put it under my light and finish curing it for 120 seconds. 
or until it's fully hard and ready to go. So while that's curing, I'm going to get my decals ready. I'm using these decals from It's Pretty Personal and these are pre-cut, pre-printed vinyl decals and they make my life so much easier. Look at that nice, easy, clean weeding. I don't have to cut, I don't have to layer. It's already done for me. All I have to do is weed that excess vinyl and apply some transfer tape and I'm done. So I'm using this transfer tape. I can also link that below for you guys if y'all are interested. It's been my favorite, have no issues with it. And once that tumbler is fully cured and ready to go, here is the final look. There is a little air bubble there, I know. So just know that it's okay that this does not come out 100% perfect. It's 99% perfect, okay? Anyways, so I'm gonna apply my decals individually. I kind of just take sections off the sheet of vinyl and just kind of place them wherever I want. And y'all can cut y'all's own vinyl if you want to, but this is just how I like to do them. I think they come out really nice when they're printed out like this. I buy them from a few different companies, but it's pretty personal. Definitely has some really cute ones and you guys can use my code to save. So who doesn't like to save some money there? Anyways, I'm gonna finish placing these decals and I am pretty much done with this tumbler. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If y'all have any questions, please let me know. If anyone is interested in this specific tumbler, I do have it available in my shop, which will also be linked in the comment section below. So again, I hope this video was helpful. I love that I was able to show you guys some new products, some new vendors to try out. I would love to see y'all's creations, so make sure y'all tag me in y'all's videos or photos y'all can use my tag at glitter baddies boutique and if y'all haven't done so already make sure y'all join my facebook group it is super helpful we have a great community of creators who love to help each other out and provide feedback and support so if you also haven't done so already make sure you hit the subscribe button here so you get notified anytime i post a new video and thank you guys so much for y'all support thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to y'all again soon